Hello everyone! In our last video I've showed you uh, most of the default apps you get with the Android 6.0.1 Marshmallow on the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge but to be honest I really forgot about video and music players as some of you have pointed out in the comments so I'm really uh, grateful for you guys that uh, you have uh, actually noticed that and I'm going to go ahead today and show you how the music player and the video player look. Uh, I'm not quite sure that there are many changes there, but I'm going to show you how they look, uh, uh, what's the features you get and uh, how uh, the music player, for example, looks when you lock the screen. So uh, first of all, uh, this is the music player. Uh, you always have this brand Samsung Music that you can play by clicking here. So obviously that's over the horizon. That's the theme music for Samsung. This is how the player looks. Obviously, if you have a cover on the top, you'll be able to see the cover as well. So I'll go ahead and just lock the phone. The music continues playing and then when you try to unlock it, this is the little bar you see. So it's really similar. Just a second. It's really similar to what you get when you listen to music through Spotify. That's the little bar. You don't really get the full cover while the the, lock, the screen is on lock. So yeah, basically that's the music player. I'll go back. And I'll show you, obviously you have the different features here, you have, if you have music and playlists set up here, you'll see them in a list. I don't have any music, uh, I'll dismiss this reminder, so you have albums, you have artists, you have genres, you have folders, you have, you have composers as well. And obviously if you have them, you can see and browse through, through them by doing this and going up and down and looking through the different letters. Uh, on the more section you have edit sound alive I'm not quite sure what that is probably somebody who is more aware of it could tell me what it is oh that's a equalizer sound quality and effects I didn't know so there you go that's good to know you have also settings the play speed music auto off the smart volume the you know the automation adjustment of volume which is volume which is useful and good to have also you have the search option if you have many uh, songs you can quickly access them through there so yeah that's you can't really get it up that's the music player you can control it from here you can stop it and pause it from here i mean uh, play it and pause it from here right that's the music player let's go ahead and see the video player that's video so I have a few videos here of my son and a few videos we've recorded for you guys. If, for example, I go ahead and click on this one, you'll be able to see the actual video. You can pause it. You can look at it full screen, but that's a bit dodgy because it's been recorded the other way around on the phone. Don't really like that. You can turn the screen and the video will go that way, which is normal view i think you can go um you know to the next video you can skip Hello. and stuff like that uh you can pop it up which is i think really useful it's similar to how the youtube app works on mobile phones you can move that video that you are currently watching um around the video player uh, section inside the folder and at the same time you can look at your other videos as well so I think that's quite cool, the pop-up. Uh, you have volume control from here as well. And uh, we'll see what else you have. You have editor. Uh, you can only play the audio. That's quite good. You can play, uh, you can have a play speed and uh, play with that. The editor is quite good, I think. Um, you can do all the basic stuff in it. You can trim a video. You have different effects which is quite cool if i press here you see how my video will change come on yeah so sepia for example and it goes all black and white sepia effects nice 
Uh, so yeah, you have the video editor, but if you have, that's the default editor. If you want to download additional video editor with more functions, you can do that and go ahead and download. I don't want to do that. Uh, just now you can export your file and you can rename it and you can choose resolution. These are your options. So this is how much space it will take as well, each version. Or you can share the video. And again, you can export and then share. Don't want to do that just now. So let's see. Oh no, it's exporting. Right. <laughs> I won't share it uh, just now because I don't want to export that video that I just made. So you can cancel, discard, export. I'll discard this video. I don't want to save it. So that's the video player. I hope you guys are pleased with that. I will just try something. When a video is on and I lock the screen here, you can see there's a little lock thing. So obviously I want to try and open my phone. Nothing is happening. I have to press the button on the side to be able to work with the screen. So you can lock it. The video stays on. You have the little locker on the right hand side, top side. And then you have to press the button on the side, not the home screen, uh, home button I mean and you'll be able to again work your way through the player okay so that were the video and music players on the android 6.0.1 uh, i want to also ask uh, not ask but answer a few of the frequently asked questions we get in our comments first of all i want to confirm this is the samsung galaxy s6 edge phone it is white version it has a cover only at the back and if you're interested to see what cover i'm using you can um, see a short review of that in our videos also uh, i want to say that uh, we are able to review for you guys android 6.0 and 6.0.1 marshmallow because we joined the android beta testing i mean samsung beta testing program which was opened in december it is now closed. It closed on the 18th of January and just now uh, we're waiting for the official update. For all of you guys who are not based in the UK, who were not able to take part in the beta testing program, I have to say that you'll probably get Android 6 and the update then 6.0.1. Uh, in the coming days. I don't know the exact dates. We are uh, only following uh, Samsung on their official channels and we heard rumors about that. We know that they will have a, a big event announcing the S6, uh, Samsung S, uh, I mean S7, sorry about that, the S7, which will be the big the big announcement that would happen probably around the 20th of February. This is what we heard about the event. So we really expect um, Android 6.0 Marshmallow to land on all Samsung Galaxy S6 and S6 Edge Plus and Edge Plus phones uh, very soon. It should be in the coming days and weeks. So if anyone uh, in the comments uh, has already got that please let us know it would be really interesting to know which countries and which carriers are now introducing the update so please let us know about that uh, i'll also show the messaging app very quickly because somebody wanted to see the colors of the speech bubbles there so for example here is what you get here really quickly blue and yellow bubbles as i said and i, I an answered that in the comments uh, of one of our videos as well so yes this is uh, everything guys also i want to just one last thing confirm for you that this phone runs 6.0.1 android just now and it is not customized at all this is the default theme i have not changed anything in my preferences and settings i have not set up any animations i have not disabled anything you are seeing the default touchwiz launcher so if you're interested how it looks by default, this is what you get. Uh, these are the apps, the the looks of the, the look of the apps. You can change the background of the apps and you can make them look like they looked in the 6.0 uh, 
update if you prefer that but otherwise you can keep them like that and they'll have the default shapes and no backgrounds at all i hope you've enjoyed that video i hope it was useful to you so yes this is it i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please click the like button and subscribe if you want to keep up with all the cool gadget updates we have for you thanks a lot for watching bye bye